Hello, my name is Latrina and yesterday my son Chris called in offered you a free custom video to give you some insights and some tips and tricks on how to improve your online presence. This is the video that was promised to you. There's no selling in the video. We believe that givers gain. So we make a few of these videos every day to help other businesses um, with growing and bringing value. We're a small business as well, so we understand the hard work that goes into it, and hopefully this is something that can help you out. At the end, please let us know what you thought of the video. Shoot us a reply, um, text or um, email, and just let us know if it was helpful or not. It would be greatly appreciated. So what I'm going to go over briefly is content, backlinks, and citations and why these are important website elements for you to have. I'll take a look at your current company's online presence and make recommendations for improvement if I see any. Content is anything on your website. It's the words, the images, the videos, any of that. You want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage um, and 500 on your back pages. Seems like a lot, but this is the required well, the standard from Google, um, it allows them to spend enough time on your website to grab the relevant keywords and as a result, know when to show your business to people who are looking for your services. Then there are citations and these are found in directories like Goop or Google or Yelp. Goop. Tongue tied this morning. Um, Google or Yelp. It's your business name, your address, and your phone number. And you want to have as many of these throughout the internet as you can get, and even more than your competition. Then there are backlinks, and this is when you place your website address onto other websites, and they direct traffic back to your website. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes to Google. And Google gives um, businesses that have a lot of backlinks preference. So you want to get as many as you can um, so that Google will use these to validate your business and show that you are a legitimate company. So what I'm going to do is go over, um, first let me start here in Google and just explain a few things. So when I do an organic keyword search, meaning I type in words that I think will give me the, the results that I'm looking for. So in this case, I typed painting contractors, Gaithersburg, Maryland. And at the very top, you'll see what Google usually does is they'll place ads at the top. So these are companies that are running local ads. Um, the ads are not terrible. They're good to implement if you have the budget for it and if, um, it's part of an overall marketing strategy. But two things to keep in mind. First of all, not everyone will see the ads. Um, they rotate randomly and some people have um, ad blockers on their computers. So if they do have ad blockers, they're not going to see the ads. The other thing to know is that a lot of the um, companies like Angie's List, Thumbtack, House, those um, Home Advisor, they charge you contractors for every lead that they provide you. But what they don't tell you is that you're sharing that same lead with four other companies. That means even though the other company might um, close that deal, you're still going to pay for it. So it's just something to be aware of. The best place in Google to find your business or to have your business listed is what we call the map pack here. And this is where Google places who they consider to be the top ranking businesses for the keywords that were searched. Okay, so you'll see O'Connor's Painting, Advanced Pro, and Leo's DMB Painting. These are the three companies right now that Google perceives to be leading in this area. And further down on the page, you'll see more of the Home Advisors, the Yelps, etc. If you're not in the map pack, you at least want to be on the first or second page of Google. This is where most of the traffic is taking place. The greater portion of traffic is taking place in the map pack that I showed you earlier. But after that, the first or second pages are the most popular. Most people don't venture off and go further past those pages to find the services or products that they're looking for. They want to make a decision right away and they want to find someone right away to do that job. So that should always be your goal is to get on the first few pages of Google and ideally here in the map pack. And I'm going to show you some things that should help you to advance closer to this area. Okay. So when we take a look at your website, by the way, your website, um, I like it. It is very organized. It looks very pleasing to the eyes. Um, it's clear what it is that you do. My number one um, 
recommendation for you is to add more content. If you remember, I set 1500 words on the home page. Again, the reason for this is because when the Google bots are sent to your website, it gives them a reason to stay on your website longer. If you don't have very much on your website, they're going to hop on and hop right back off. That's a disadvantage for you. You want them to be on your website as long as possible and frequently. And when you have more content, then they identify you as a, a relevant business and they come to your website and stay um, current with what it is that you are offering. Um, new information that you put on your website becomes available to people who are searching, right? So the more content you have, the, the more reasons you give Google to visit your website. The other thing that I would recommend is a call to action contact um, form at the top. Um, either, uh, I see right here, you do have the call right here, but a lot of um, websites that are profitable have a pop-up or a, a contact us form where you collect a name, phone number, at, um, name, phone number, email, so that you can get in touch with people right away, okay? Um, and it also will free up your phones a little bit um, so that you're, because I know you're a busy painting company, but at least if you're collecting information, you'll know who to contact back. And if you miss calls, et cetera, you'll have their information. The other thing I will mention before we leave your page is you have a lot of photos here that demonstrate the quality of your work and they're beautiful photos. So you show, you show ceramic tiling, you show hardwood flooring, complete house remodel. But when I take a look at how you save the images, there's no description. This just says complete house remodeling. That one's a little bit better, but some of your photos don't have any um, tags on them at all. And you want to tag your photos because when Google is searching your website, see this one doesn't have a tag. Um, they're not going to get any information from the photos and the photos are an extra opportunity to tell Google what it is you do. So for example, if your photo is demonstrating tiling, then maybe save that file as tiling Germantown, Maryland, um, or kitchen tiling or something just so that it becomes an extra keyword that Google can identify and know that, hey, um, D is painting and renovations, they handle tiling, they handle flooring. They It just validates the services that you say you offer, okay? So let's go over and look at the data that I've pulled up for your website. So this is the data based off your website and it shows how popular you are right now. Right now you only have 18 backlinks. And remember I said you need as many of these throughout the internet as you can get. They need to be relevant backlinks and they need to be more than your competition. But you, you don't have very many backlinks at all and you only have six referring domains. At one point you have 40 um, backlinks and 27 referring domains. You really need to get these numbers way up high, okay? And that's going to make you more competitive. You're getting about 18 um, visits to your website. Let's take a look here. This is you on the graph. You're the blue line. So it's showing about 20 to 18 clicks or visits um, from Google. But your competitor, um, one of them from the map pack, O'Connor's Painting, they're getting like 92 79, 68. So you have a big gap that you can close here by um, implementing some of the changes that I've suggested. So let's refresh. The one number one change that you should do is add more content to your page. You want to get 1500 words at least. Ideally 2000 if you can swing that because that will set you apart from your competition. Most people don't have a lot of content. Then you want to get more backlinks, okay? You only have 18. You need to get that up into the hundreds and even thousands. And you do that gradually, okay? So you want to be adding domains um, to your, um, adding your website to other websites so they can get those backlinks up. And then you also want to get citations and listings and directories, okay? And if you do that over time, you will find your placing, your placement in Google rising, and you might even find yourself in the Google pack um, very soon. All right. I hope this has been helpful. It's a bit longer than I want. I always go longer. I start talking and I can't stop, but hopefully it's been helpful to you. Please shoot us an email. Let us know if it was helpful, if it was unclear and you need clarification. I can do that too. We can, um, we really want things to be helpful and to help you, um, to continue to grow your business. All right. 
So with that, I will end it and wish you uh, much success in your business. Take care. Bye-bye.